Welcome to this quick creative tutorial. We will look at how to build this. We are using Adobe After Effects with our free plugin Animation Composer, together with some of our packs that you can buy, mostly the texture pack. Here's the stuff I see. There's a texture in the background, there's a foreground overlay, and there's a texture with the mask over the text and the original text layer. So, I'll create a new composition, that's it, I'll create a new text layer, whoops, this is a little bit weird, I'll reset it to this, and I'll change the font size to make it bigger and align it to the middle. Whoa, what a rhyme! I'll add the drop shadow, whoops, here we are change the distance and I'll add a background texture. Now I'm not sure what it was, I suppose it was some kind of a steel or whatever. Yeah, let it make a smooth stone. You can see that this is a light and it was here it was dark. So what I'm going to do is I'll add this I'll move it below the text layer and I'll add invert effect on it. So this will effectively invert the colors. I'll resize it so it's like this. Good. And now I'll add a placeholder for a texture because this texture is from Google. So it's a custom texture, so I'll go here to the placeholders, having this layer selected and this composition selected, press apply as a texture. I'll double click to open it, go to my project and this is the texture. I can delete these layers and here I am. I'll resize this. Great! I'll hide the free text layer. Ah, you know what, I don't. I actually like this effect. There's this little white outline that is coming from the original layer. If you turn it off, you don't see the white outline, but I will keep it for now. So I can move this layer around, I can animate it already. But I want to add these nice colors. And uh, oh, oh, I'm so lucky that I own a pack that we have made! It's called Backgrounds and it's full of cool stuff. There are also multicolor gradients that are perfect for overlays. So I'll select this one, I'll add it on top. Oops, not here, on the top. And I will change the blend mode. I can press Shift, hold it and then press plus or minus to change the blend mode. Quite similar, actually. Now I want to animate this background layer, so I'll select it, I'll zoom out a little, press S for the scale to reveal the keyframes, and go here, now I'm not sure how the time goes, okay, here we are, I'll press it here, and make it a bigger in the beginning, so it will look like it's zooming out. Now I want to change the easing of these keyframes, so I'll select both of them, and instead of just pressing F9, I have a better way to do it. We have made this awesome keyframe wingman plugin, which is much more convenient. So I'll ease it like this, okay. Looks better already. I'll just move it here. And now let's animate this free text layer. So I'll select it and I want to use a preset. Once again, I go to this category. So, I think I want some kind of an overshoot. And, yeah, this one. This is, this is pretty good. Let's preview this. Okay, not bad. Now I just want to change the timing. Okay, here we go. I'll make this a bit smaller, turn on the blur, 
and here we go. Oh, one more thing. As always, a vignette. Oh yeah. Oh, pro tip, of course. So that's it. We really hope that you will love this new texturing thing. If you have any feedback, let us know. We always like to listen. If you like this, go and check out our website. You may find some good stuff. I'm Adam from MrHorse.tv and see you in the next one.